Okay, we are going to calculate this by interpreting this as an area. So here we go. First of all, let's go ahead and draw our picture. Well, pay attention to this. This is just 1 minus x, and it's just a straight line, right? So what you can do is, of course, if x is equal to 0, we have y4 is equal to 1. So we have this right here, namely the y intercept. And when x is equal to 1, of course, that will be 0. So we have this right here. So of course, we can connect the dots. And again, it's just going to be a straight line. So this is the equation, y equals 1 minus x. Now, we are paying attention to the following. We are going from negative 1 to positive 2. When x is negative 1, put it here, we will get 2, right? So let's go ahead and make the mark. If this is negative 1, and we'll end up with positive 2 right there. And if x is equal to 2, plug in 2 in here, we get 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. So I'll just put it down right here. This is 2, and then we'll end up with negative 1, like this. So we are going to calculate the area from here to here, and then we are going to find the area from here to here. That's pretty much it. One thing to keep in mind, anything above the x-axis, you will get positive value for its integral, right? And then anything below the x-axis, you will get the negative value for its integral. Although, if you're talking about the area of this and that, areas are positive, but again, we're trying to use area to help us to calculate this integral. So this is going to be positive value, and this is going to be with negative value. Anyway, here we go. So from here to here, of course, this is just 2, and from negative 1, and this right here again is 1, so this right here will be 2. So that means this area, which is just the area of a triangle, I'll just put it down, a1 is equal to 1 half times base, which is 2, times the height, which is 2, and all in all, we get 2. Oh, man, a lot of 2s in this picture. So this area right here is just 2, and I said this is a1 because this is the first one that we're doing. All right, now for this one, from here to here, of course, that will be 1. So perhaps I'll make this in green so that we can see better. So it's like this. So this is 1. And from here to here, and this is technically negative 1, right? <laughs> because you are going down below negative 1. And here is the area of this triangle. I will just call that to be A2. And you get 1 half times the base, which is 1, times negative 1 for the height. So that's pretty much the idea. And work this out, we get negative 1 half. And again, if you are talking about what's the area of this triangle, technically it's positive 1 half. But if you are talking about what's the value of the integral, from here to here, and the answer will be negative 1 half. And if you are talking about the integral value, from negative 1 to 2, what we have to do is, first of all, put down 2, because that's this portion, and then we have to combine it with this value, which is negative 1 over 2, like this. Of course, work out our fraction. 2 minus 1 half, of course, we get 3 over 2, and that's it. Of course, you can also use the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2, but that will be for the later section. This is how we are supposed to do it for this one.